hello welcome back to my channel so today i am going to show you this hutch as is going from this to a white chalk painted hutch now i did not film the painting of it as when it was in my garage so what you're getting to see is me painting um to be honest all of the hard places that i couldn't get to when the top of the hutch was um, on the floor and being pregnant especially I could not bend over like that so um, I painted it in the hut I'm um, sorry in the garage and now I'm getting all the little spots that I couldn't reach like on the bottom of each shelving unit um, in the little detailed areas of those little, I don't know if they're called little spools, and just the background. I am keeping the inside of the cupboards as is. So I just want to say that even though um, you may be feeling busy or um, like you have tons of stuff to do, I just want to say that you can do anything that you put your mind to. Sometimes giving yourself a deadline, or I shouldn't say deadline, but knowing that something is coming up that kind of motivates you to get some stuff done is helpful. So. Um, whatever that may be, in this case, having a baby is definitely motivating me and it's a life-changing thing. So I oftentimes go back and wonder if I would have been able to or had the motivation to finish this as quickly. But in a way, I'm glad that I have that and um, I'm glad that I have been doing my planner because my planner has kept me on task for finishing some projects that I wanted to finish before having baby number three. And I did not do all of this myself. I definitely had the help from my husband, so I want to give him tons of credit here because going and getting my hutch is um it's actually something that i had as a dream to have a nice cute hutch in my dining room um for a while and he has definitely helped me accomplish that um going and getting it and just moving it around and watching the kids while i do a lot of the stuff that this hutch needed so thank you so much to him Right now, I am covering, um, well, mainly um, just sealing a lot of the paint. It's dried for a couple hours now. Um, it may have, you know, needed to dry overnight, but since I was in such a rush, I needed to get this on as quickly as I could, and I put it on the main areas that are going to get touched. It is polycrylic. It is the water-based one and um, I just got this from Walmart um, it's about the same as Amazon so and I don't know if you guys noticed back there but I had to change my shirt because I was getting paint on it just from you know splattering back from the brush so now I am changing out not changing out I am um, putting back the hardware um, putting the hardware back on was much easier than taking them off. So I do just a couple drawers here for you. Um, I put it back on the hardware. I clean the inside of the drawers. Luckily the person I got this from um, had it pretty clean already, but it did need some, some wiping down. I didn't do anything with the hardware, you guys. I liked it as is. I really liked that. I mean, it wasn't dirty, but... I really, really liked that um, old, like, rustic look, so 
I left the hardware as is and I just had to be careful to make sure that I put the hardware back on the correct um, way and not upside down or anything. I thought these tiny drawers were so cute. I just love that little area of the hutch right there. So I didn't show you all of the cupboards and stuff, but this is the final product and it's just the next morning when the lighting is a little bit better, but the final product, I just love it so much. It brings um, just a little bit of character to our dining room and now I have all of these little things that were kind of up in that area before on the back table, um, which you can kind of see in the top right corner there. That was where the hutch was before and I had um, something hanging above it and um, this is just all the stuff I'm going to try to get up there now. So let's decorate. Got my coffee and I'm ready to go. Now this is something I was doing while my kids were hanging out. They were playing with blocks um, in the living room right there next to me and just um, enjoying their morning. I want to say this took me about, I don't know, 10 minutes. I, I did kind of have an idea of where I wanted some things to be. So sometimes it's good to take a picture of the way it was first and if you liked anything, the way it was, you might want to try to do it similarly. So if you're wondering, I just got this hutch off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, as you probably know if you've looked there before, if you look for something, like more things will pop up. So if you look for something one time and nothing's there, don't worry, I'm sure something will pop up and um, if you have your notifications on, will pop up and tell you very quickly and something will be there. So don't rush yourself to get something because you want it in the moment. Just wait till you find that perfect piece. I shouldn't say perfect, but wait till you find that piece that makes you go, I really like that piece and the price is really good. So I want to say I got this hutch for... I'm trying to think because it was back right after um, Christmas when I got it. I think it was, I want to say it might have been $70. I could be off by five or so dollars, but it was just around that price. And I had to use two coats of Rust-Oleum chalk paint. I really liked the Rust-Oleum chalk paint. Um, I'll link below what sizes and stuff because it wasn't you know um it was it wasn't like a huge um tub or anything it was so i had and i didn't even use the whole second one or maybe even half of it so i still have some chalk paint left over but that one wasn't gonna do it for this for sure and i got it from amazon so i'll link that below the polycrylic, like I said, I got from Walmart, but it's the same price on Amazon, so you can get that if it doesn't sell at your local Walmart. I literally add polycrylic to my grocery pickup when I'm out, so sometimes that's more convenient. And I'm sure I'll be switching some things up and everything, but this is the final product. I love, love, love how it looks and how now I can store some things in these drawers. If you're wondering what that one is up top, that's from our wedding. So here's the before which is beautiful still, um, and here's the after. 
so thank you for watching if you like these kind of things because i love furniture painting hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys later